Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Today I'm here with the 97CU of Qware. It's a little bit dark. It's from Ryan. So before I'm gonna even start with it, before it's gonna give it the channel 48 wash, we're gonna wash it and clean it because it looks very used. And I told you, these devices, people do all sorts of things with it. Also big message, you know? So before I'm gonna touch a tablet that was also used as entertainment while doing a big message, I'm gonna say, let's first clean it. So we do that the original way, of course, with a little bit of soap. We use hand soap because hand soap is also very nice to kill all the germs. So we just give it some soap, you see that? You must not be scared, nothing will happen. And if something happened, then this was very use useless tablet, then it was not, it was meant to happen, okay? Right to door or not? Yeah, right. Yeah, I have some friend in my pocket. His name is Tudor. He's on. Uh, he's on WhatsApp. Wait, let him. Let me take him out of my pocket. The actual name of the tablet is Telex. Ah, okay, good. He's already doing some investigation about the tablet while we are. Uh, yes, that is correct. It's on uh, on gingerbread. But it's a very nice tablet, Tudor. You know, it reminds me of the iPhone. Uh, it reminds me of an iPhone, the way the thing is built. It has the same uh, metal side as, as the iPhone uh, 4. And in fact, it looks, it looks, it doesn't look like a cheap device. I think this tablet uh, could uh, run Windows CE. You think so? Oh yes, because of the processor, MTK56, uh, what, what kind of processor does this thing have? I don't know, it has some Chinese one, some right? Okay, okay, hold on. What we gonna do? Yes, it runs. We first gonna, we first gonna dry her up, you see that? You know, the, the processor is like the telechip, not the name of the processor, telechip. Uh, 1.2 giga, 1 gigahertz. And 1 gigahertz. Okay, you know what to do? I'm gonna put you on the tablet and we're gonna go to the studio and see what we can do with this thing. It's, okay. ve it's very clean now. Okay, Tudor, sleep well. Tudor had to go bedtime. So, um, we are here with the QWare and it's the QWare Pro 2. It's a tablet being sold in the Netherlands and in fact it's a very slow device. It looks very nice as you can see, almost looks like the iPhone 4. I think it was kind of almost like if they wanted to copy the iPhone 4. Also the back looks like glass, I'm not sure if it's glass, but it looks nice. Very nice tablet, although um, it's not so powerful and it runs gingerbread. Is there a custom ROM for it? Yes, there is. And to uh, install the custom ROM, you will have to copy the Clockwork Mod Recovery and the ROM, the V2, to the SD card of... Yeah, where's my SD card? Oh yeah, I have one here. So we're gonna copy these two files to the SD card, then we're gonna pop it in there. And then we're gonna put the phone into or the device into a recovery mode. Also gonna show you how to do that on the QR. And then uh, we're gonna try something. And if this thing fails, you know, I'm willing to give this friend of mine an even better tablet because in the first place she deserves it. It's gonna be her birthday Monday, so maybe only already for that reason. Hey, what happened to this thing?
so you see um i'm gonna put you on the tripod and then <laughs> you're gonna see what it's gonna be like so you will need something like this this one is from maxer to cope by the action for my dutch people and uh here uh we have our computer this could be a windows computer in my case this is a mac okay let me put it nice for you there and what i'm gonna do <clears throat> i'm gonna pull this one out and then stick it in again and then it should be detected okay so we just inserted the card in here and it's been recognized in my mac so i'm gonna grab these two files here and i'm gonna copy them to the root of the SD card, the root means straight up to the SD card, not in a folder, just, you know. Okay, so, and if this thing um, installs good, then I'm gonna make a pocket ROM for this, for this device. I think that is nice. <laughs> I think some people still have it. So it's called uh, the 3WTZ1 8K recovery. So we're gonna put this into the tablet. Here's the tablet. And let's find a recovery. Right here. Somewhere here. You can put the card. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hold down the volume and press the power on. Keep holding, just keep holding it until you get into the recovery. So we are in the recovery now. Wait, yeah, so. Um, apply update from SD card so let me see so it's showing these two here on top but they could also be let me see something here oh no okay so this was it no it was it not you see this was it this one this is the file this is the file there we go we're installing Clockwork Mode Recovery now. Beautiful. So we're gonna do another apply SD uh, from SD, and now we go to the to the ROM, and we're installing the ROM now. Beautiful. So I'm gonna work immediately if this works. Okay, reboot the system now. Uh, I'm gonna create a program for this for this tablet. Fantastic. Okay, do welcome back. I connected uh, the cable, etc. I left it for a while. Created a program. And let's turn on the baby. Let's hold, keep hold on, holding down the buttons. And let's see if we get into a recovery mode again. We should. We should get into clockwork mode. There you go. Hoo -hoo. Hello, hello. I love clockwork mode. Uh, you know I do. We're gonna do a wipe data reset. I just called Ryan. And it's a birthday tomorrow, eh? So I want to kinda, you know, you know how it goes, man. Oh, it's already done. So now we're gonna do a, uh, um, a wipe catch partition i think that is already done eh, when you do a wipe data but we're gonna do it just just for the record for the film and then we're gonna go to advanced with the power button you can confirm eh? the power button is the enter and then we're gonna say wipe dalvik yes wipe dalvik very beautiful so now we're gonna go one back so how do we go back mm, like that okay so now we're gonna say um, um, install zip from SD card and then choose a zip from SD card 
choose set from SD card. Okay, there, there we go. QR. Puck iOS ROM V1. Cross fingers, peeps. There we go. Oh. Install the QR Pro Puck iOS ROM. Installing. Crossing fingers. Holding my breath. It's installing update at least that's all that's saying but we see no progress yet and we did it before and we saw even more progress at that time It's going. It's going. SD complete. Whoa, that is fantastic. So let's reboot the Mademoiselle and let's see what we're gonna get. And after the QWare, you will also see the Yarvik picture of this tablet. Kind of nice. And then when this is done, this cycle is done, we're gonna get the Apple Boot animation in horizontal mode because this problem this uh, tablet has a kind of, of I mean the ROM has a yeah it's, it has a little issue with rotation. So we turned off rotation and we have everything just in horizontal mode. One more little thing, the background, uh, you change it by going into the eye launcher, of course, and just go here to change the wallpaper. <laughs> you will find all sorts of beautiful backgrounds and uh, I choose for the blue one and it takes a while after you selected the wallpaper, it will take a while before, you know, the eye launcher will show. Let me show that to you. Uh, so we select this one here and we say install and then we go back. And then you see all your icons are gone how to get icons back just uh, pull down your inoti pull down one more time and then you can go back and then they should come in a second there they are you see that that's how to do it man so i think the device looks nice no man it looks really great I think this is very very nice tablet we started uh, in the early evening and it's what time is it it's 36 minutes past midnight but the tablet is done I'm kind of happy about it there's not not much more that you can do with it there was a CM7 that uh, a guy tested but he said 
not the way to go touch screen was not working etc i think this is a nice device just the way how a tablet should be in horizontal mode <laughs> so it, the screen won't turn and if it turns then yeah it will not uh keep rotating because the rotation is turned off okay so if you're gonna start the app and it's gonna rotate in into portrait mode then you can simply you know turn the tablet and use it in the portrait mode that it's showing could be like this but could also be on top so yeah it's an old tablet you know you should not complain otherwise go buy a new tablet <laughs> these are those are, are way better so i'm gonna remove the sd card again and i'm gonna work on the run so that's it enough thank you for watching and if you're gonna download this if you still have the tablet go ahead play with it so the procedure is download the two files the pokram file and the clockwork mod recovery copy them to the micro sd card to the root of the micro sd card so you can find them you will see that they will show two times the first two times are in fact the ghost files of the thing you know are not actually the files so look at the size as well uh, the rom should be 113 megabytes and i think the clockwork mod is something like three megabytes so make sure you got the right files otherwise you're gonna get the error that i also got in the beginning of this video but uh, after that um if you flash the device it will just go um automatically the installing of the program takes a little bit longer and it looks as if there is no activity you know the first minute it takes way longer than the original rom to install just trust on it and let it go it will go just fine thanks again for watching peace out if you like this video you know what to do subscribe until then